Hey guys, so I'm here to go through the basics of welding with you guys. Today we're gonna go through and basically just explain the right way to set up your machine, the proper position and angle for your gun. After that, I will actually show you guys how I lay a bead and then we'll talk about it, show you what to do, talk about what not to do, things like that. So we'll jump into it. Today we're working with the Lincoln 140 MP welder. I'll show you guys the internals. This is probably the best thing. This chart comes on all of Lincoln's welders and is a great reference for anybody new, anybody who's been in the trade who just needs a little refresher. This first section right here show you exactly how to set the machine up for whatever process you're going for. This next section down here, this actually goes through and you can match up your material. So today we're actually gonna be going with eighth inch thick material. So what the H8 is, is that is your settings. So the H, as you can see, we have all of our nice little letters up here. So we're gonna set our voltage over to H, and then we are at eight for our wire speed. So your wire speed is over here. Set it to eight. Now, we'll come over here, and I'm gonna talk to you about position, how far you're supposed to have hold your gun away from your material. So what we're gonna do is just basic practice. So all you're gonna wanna do is on your scrap, just come in, make a straight line. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. You want your wire to be about 3 8 of an inch sticking out. You also wanna hold your contact tip. You wanna be about 3 8 of an inch above your work material. With these pliers, from this side to this side is roughly 3 8 of an inch. So you can actually just line it up, snip it off, that'll be your 3 8 Big things to focus on is the angle of which you're holding your gun, how high off the material you are, and then your travel speeds. Those three things are gonna be key on getting good penetration, making a very clean weld at the end, help with splatter, things like that. So just keep those in mind. I wanna find the most comfortable position that I can. Right now we're working on a flat table. I'm gonna actually be up over it. So I wanna use my left arm, just kind of resting. Now this is how I do it. So you guys play around with this concept. Find whatever's comfortable with you for whatever you're welding on. Comfortability is one of the biggest things in welding that helps you keep a nice, clean, consistent bead. I wanna find a good position. I'll do a couple of test runs back and forth, making sure that my arm is in the right spot to go all the way across. Now, you want your gun at about a 45 degree angle, angled back into the bead itself. So depending on the process and the joint that you're doing, it's really gonna kind of play with the angle of your gun. The pattern will also determine what kind of angle you wanna be at, the position of the material, whether you're running uphill, downhill, that all plays a big part in the angle of the gun. For practice sake, we are just gonna keep it at a 45 with our gun pointed back towards our bead. And we're simply just gonna go forward, back, forward, back. Now, in the manual that comes with this welder, they actually have a awesome little diagram in there that shows this exact pattern. So you can always refer back to that and it gives you a nice little visual if you need it. We're gonna start our puddle, go directly to the face of the puddle, about half to three quarters of the way back. Face of the puddle, 
half to three quarters of the way back. Basically, all you're looking for is you'll see when you come forward, you'll see your bead kind of smooth out and actually shrink a little bit. When you come back, you'll watch that puddle actually build out. So you want to pull, it'll shrink, come back, it'll build up. And when it builds up, you just want to match that puddle right behind it. And the closer you can match that puddle, the better off your bead and everything is going to look nice and smooth all the way down. I'm going to put my gear on and lay down a bead real quick. And then we will discuss how that went. What I'm gonna try and do is kind of mess up a little bit in between the weld and kind of show you guys what not to do, what to do, what, what you wanna look for and what you wanna look for as a bad weld. So my welder's plugged in. I have my ground clamp on my table. Let's do this. There we go. All I did was the back and forth motion. And the only differences that you're gonna see in this one is travel speed. So back here, I started out a, a tiny bit fast and then started slowing down really good right here. And as you can see, you can see the size difference and how it actually builds outward. Here, I really jumped up my speed right here. And you can actually see how it gets nice and small right here and just comes right in. You'll see it build up a lot when you're going fast because you're actually not getting good penetration into that base metal. And your weld's actually sitting on top of that base metal. It's not actually penetrating down in like it should. This one, I was going so fast that it didn't really get to build up on itself too, too much. But you can definitely see how it actually comes in. This section right here is more what you're looking for. Nice, kind of even bead all the way down. All right, guys, so that was the basics of how to weld. Uh, there's a, gonna be a lot more as you guys progress through this, but right now, as a beginner, just start with practicing. Find as much material as you can. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, big things to practice with is your angle of your gun, your tip to surface distance, and then just wire speed. Or not wire speed, your travel speed. Um, making sure that your beads are just consistent. Um, but keep practicing. As a new welder, you're gonna get a few really bad welds in the beginning. No one's perfect, no one started out amazing. So just make sure that you're practicing. Don't be beating yourself up. So other than that, I think the, you guys should be pretty good. So. I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you guys got any questions, comment below. If not, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time.